Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here are two nice logical puzzles. Problem one. You need to figure out a four digit code and you're given some clues. 9285. One number is correct, but in the wrong position. 1937. Two numbers are correct, but in the wrong positions. 5201. One number is correct, and in the right position. 6507, nothing is correct. 8524, two numbers are correct, but in the wrong positions. Can you figure out the four digit code? Problem two, two logicians A and B each secretly pick a whole number from one to 30 inclusive. Each knows the other has done this. The following conversation takes place. A asks, is your number double mine? B replies, I don't know. Is your number double mine? A replies, I don't know. Is your number half mine? B replies, I don't know. Is your number half mine? A says, I don't know. B exclaims, I know your number. All the statements are true. What is A's number and how did B know? I saw this on Reddit Riddles. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's solve problem one. When I see a puzzle like this, I approach it by looking at one of the clues. If you have a clue where nothing is correct, I think that's a good place to start because it gives a lot of information. So we know 6507, all of these digits are wrong. So now let's look at the last clue. We know that the digit five is wrong. So we have eight, two, and four. Of these three digits, we know two numbers are correct. So the correct numbers could be two and eight, 2 and 4, or 4 and 8. These are the only three possibilities. Now, let's look at the first clue, 9285. One number is correct, but in the wrong position. Now, we know 5 is wrong. Of 2 and 8, we know that exactly one of them must be correct, because the possibilities are 2, 8, 2, 4, and 4, 8. Furthermore, the clue says one number is correct, so we can't have both 2 and 8 being correct. So we can eliminate 2 and 8 being correct. But if one of these is correct, that means 9 has to be wrong, because otherwise we would have two correct numbers. So we figured out a lot from this clue. So the correct numbers are either 2 and 4 or 4 and 8. Furthermore, 9 is the wrong number. So we'll take this information to the clue 1937. Now we know nine is wrong, and we've also figured out that seven is wrong from before. Now two numbers are correct, but in the wrong positions. So that means one and three must be correct numbers. We can then look at the clue 5201. One number is correct and in the right position. We know that one is a correct number. So this has to be the correct number and in the right position. Previously, we figured out that five is wrong, and that zero is wrong. So we've now figured out that two is a wrong number. So we can eliminate two as a number in the first clue, and we can eliminate two in the final clue. So two and four is wrong, and that means four and eight are correct numbers. So we figured out the correct numbers are one, three, four, and eight. So we just need to figure out their order. Now we've already figured out that one is in the correct position in the fourth position. From clue one, we know that eight is not in the third position. And from the last clue, we know that eight is not in the first position. So that means eight must be in the second position. Now from the second clue, we know that three is not in the third position. The spots for two and four are already taken up. So three must be in the first position and that means the number four is in the third position. So the correct code 
is 3, 8, 4, and 1. What an interesting puzzle. Now let's solve problem 2. Let's label the logicians as A and B. At first, A only knows that B has a number from 1 to 30 inclusive, and B also thinks the same thing about A's number. All numbers are possible. So A asks, is your number double mine? B replies, I don't know. If B had an odd number, then B would be able to say his number is not double A's number. So since B has said, I don't know, that means B's number must be even because it possibly could be double of another number. So A can eliminate all of the odd numbers as possibilities for B's numbers. Then B asks, is your number double mine? A replies, I don't know. A already knows that B's number is an even number. So in order for A's number to be possibly double that, it has to be double an even number, which means that A's number must be a multiple of four. So B can eliminate all other possibilities. They're just left with the possibilities of four, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. A then asks, is your number half mine? B replies, I don't know. B knows that A's number has a minimum value of 4, a maximum value of 28, and it's a multiple of 4. In order that B replies, I don't know, it must be the case that B's number is between 2 and 14. So A can eliminate all other possibilities. We know the maximum can be 14. So A eliminates all the possibilities of numbers larger than 14 from B. Then B asks, is your number half mine? A says, I don't know. Now let's look at half of the possibilities for B's numbers. It'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So in order that A says, I don't know, it has to be one of these numbers. But looking at the list that B already knows, the only commonality will be the number 4. So B can deduce that A's number is 4. And finally, B says, I know your number. So A's number is 4, and this is how B is able to deduce it. What an incredible puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.